Hey folks, welcome to Kayak DIY. Here, myself and my father head off to iCast where we're going to be filming the latest products in paddle sports and fishing. Check it out. Hey folks, Kayak DIY here. And right now, we are at the Blue Sky Boat Works uh, booth area and we are looking at the 360 Angler. I'm here with Drew Gregory and he's going to end up going over some of the features of this because it's so new and there's pretty much so many features on this. I'm not confident I'm going to be able to give you all the info, so I'm going to be relying on him some. All right, guys. Well, this is the new uh, 360 Angler from Blue Sky Boat Works and you know, it's very much a kayak, uh, you know, catamaran hybrid. It's a weird sort of cool thing. It's almost its own it's new space. category. It really is. I mean, it, kayaks and boats are merging more and more. This is one of, of the uh, very cool features or very cool products we've come up with. The tons of features. So, what we think is unique about it is how much area you have to stand and move around and spin around. And but yet, it's such a wide, you know, product here that you would think, you know, it's going to be slow if it's a kayak. But because it's got this catamaran twin hole here it's actually super fast and it's actually not that heavy compared to other kayaks in its size category so it's actually lighter weight faster and more stable so it's like wow you get all three of those things that's amazing plus with just the push of a button right here you can see there's little push bins this whole thing can come apart so even if you want to car top it or store it in the back of an SUV you can shove all the parts you know comes off in three three parts so it's pretty impressive how it actually can break down as well so let's talk about it a little bit all the area you can see to walk around the deck space, that's obvious. The Angler 360 name comes from the fact that you can utilize all 360 degrees on the boat and even spin your seat all the way around 360 degrees. So how many times have you been out there and you're fishing and fish are going to bust right behind you? In a kayak, you're like, oh, there they are, they're behind me. And you got to turn around and you try to, you know, in this one, you just spin around or you just stand up and turn around and make your cast. So it's a pretty uh, impressive product. You can utilize all 360 degrees. It comes with the traditional flex drive that we had developed at Jackson Kayak. So you know you've got that to get you uh, you know, to and from your locations at very, very speedy rate. It also has these cool little pods right here. I'll show you. You can open them up. Because one thing people thought, well, there's not going to be much storage on this because you don't have as much space inside of these narrow holes. But you actually do. You've got openings on the bow and stern. You can actually get rods down in here, too. It's pretty impressive. So you got all that. If you have camping gear, you can shove your tents down there. You can do overnight trips in this, not a problem. You've got a front porch here. In the very, very front, you got the front porch area. And then moving back, you got gear tracks and rod holders here. You got four storage compartments, by the way. There's four. Every, every corner here has got one. On the seat, you've got a bag on the side that's going to hold uh, tackle boxes, you know, your pliers, your scissors, things like that. And the whole seat is fully adjustable. I mean, and your rudder is going to work with these knobs right here on either side. Whole seat's fully adjustable. I won't uh, bore you with doing all the adjustments now, but it goes up, down, even back and forward. I can show you that. It's pretty simple. See how it moves forward? So say you're a little shorter, you need to reach these pedals forward, back, and then it'll go up even higher. So you pretty much don't have to uh, do this whole game where you got to sit back down and pedal to move. Stand back up to sight fish. You sit back down to pedal and move or paddle, whatever, you know, whatever your, your uh, kayak does. Now you can just stay seated because it moves in the high position. You're so high, you're basically just barely even see it so you can still sight fish you can still see no need to just up down up down just keep moving have your paddle i mean you're riding your hand and just keep fishing so pretty sweet uh, the rod holder and the paddle holder on the other side is worth noting so you can hold multiple rods right there in that cool system we'll show you that uh, it comes standard with these wheels so that's pretty impressive because you know kayaks are getting heavier so let's face it this isn't as heavy as other uh, kayaks or boats this size but it's still heavier than you want to be carrying so you can just pop off these here Spin down here, pop in there, and you're gonna just roll it right away. It's really cool because up front, I'll do this real quick if you want to walk with me. It's so easy to transport because you just walk in the middle, stand in the middle here, and then just lift it up on the wheels and just start walking. And because it's, those wheels are so tall, guess what the height of a truck bed is basically? Basically, right here. I do this, I'm on the truck bed. That's simple. And then I just move it forward and set it, set it down, duck right under, and just transport it away. It's easy. Just push the back, you know, the rest of it obviously in. Yep. So let's walk and see what else we haven't talked about. We pretty much covered most of it. <laughs> but the back porch area is pretty sweet. Um, and you got the, the large rudder, as you can see. I mean, yeah, move that move that handle so, there, you can see. This rudder is super large. It really, really turns at a very quick radius. You would think a big boat like this is kind of bulky. It's not going to have a good turning radius. But trust me, this one does. 
you can make the whole turn real quick. You don't even need a cul-de-sac. Just whoosh, bam. You just need a regular size road. Bam. So micro anchors uh, are standard on the back in terms of the uh, micro anchor ready. They don't come with it, but you can see there's a, also a chance to do dual power pole micro anchors. That's really sweet and important because you know you put it in, you're not going to spin. It's going to hold you firm. So plenty of room on the back porch for a Orion cooler. Uh, and then even check out this trailer. This is a trailer you guys can buy with uh, the Blue Sky. So it's made by Tennessee Trailer. You can see it's got, see it's got the nice uh, running boards for each pontoon, so it's going to protect your hole. And uh, it's got full, you know, full size tires here and just a super, super solid steel frame. Uh, you can back this right down to the water just like a regular boat. Yeah, folding tongue. That's really nice. Folding tongue. And it actually has, there's a version that has a, uh, another rack that comes out and up and over so you can put a second blue sky or kayaks on top. So this would go on the bottom and then the kayaks would go on top. So it's a pretty sweet uh, trailer. You guys got to check it out from Tennessee Trailers. Definitely. And uh, while you're checking all that out, check out Hooked on Wild Waters. So, uh, yeah, that's a uh, look at the 360 Angler. And I'm going to have a link to his channel so that you guys can see a lot of his content because he uses all this stuff. Picture so right there, Chris Lane, Bassmaster Classic Champ, 2012 Chris Lane. On episode one of season four of Hooked on Wild Waters, I took him right here in Florida actually to some, uh, it's actually we almost cheated, you know, it's like golf course ponds. It wasn't the, the wildest, craziest, you know, situation. It's actually, it was easy fishing, but yeah. it was wild in the fact that it was different. And he was caught this, some really nice fish actually on that episode. That's not the biggest one he caught, but it's the photo we're using here. But you can see he's a big guy and uh, that was just a prototype then. We've actually added some more volume to it. So it's got a 500 pound weight capacity. So big guys, good boat for them as well. Now let's uh, also take a look at the, the, we don't really have a name for it yet. Oh, yeah. It'll eventually get a name. We're actually debating that and, and we're coming up with our own. But uh, there is actually a crate over here, essentially. But it's not just like any other crate you've seen. It has wheels, it has power supplies, so you can charge your gear. Um, you can easily wheel it around. It's meant to be able to sit on your uh, back or front porch. Uh, when I say back or front porch, that's what they call this flat area on the Blue Sky Boat Works. And uh, yeah, it's just basically a really loaded out crate setup. Yeah, this, is, this is a prototype, but you get the idea. And we need your help. We need your help. Help us name this. Yeah, so. Suggest a price point. We want to know what you would pay for this. So what I want you guys to do is think of a name for this and comment below in the video. Help us decide if her name, and maybe they'll end up looking at the video, and maybe they'll end up selecting with a name that you choose. Yeah. You don't know. You don't know. Yeah, you're right. I mean, crate is kind of weak. I feel like crate yeah. is weak. Because this is more than a crate. It's, it's like a mega crate or like a, I don't know. You were saying we have the front porch, back porch, and you said earlier. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I called it the shed, you know, because we have the porches on, on the on the kayak, and I don't know. It just, it, it's big. I thought oh, we could we, we could call it a shed, you know, you store stuff in a shed. So well uh, that's it and uh, all of the information will be in the video description below, so check it out.